So if you watched my last video, you would know that I'm doing cage tours. Um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you Kratos and Cheerio. So here's Kratos. I just cleaned him out. He's in a 15-gallon, I believe, glass aquarium, which I do want to mention is below the recommended um, requirement, which is 360 square inches, which is equivalent to a 20-gallon long tank. So if you're looking to get a hamster, um, definitely don't go for this size. He does seem happy, but it isn't the recommended. Um, the only reason he is in here is because I had to put him in here to be able to adopt Harry from my roommate. And I literally do not have any more space for a bigger cage. So he does do okay, but I definitely do not recommend this size of cage. So take off the lid and just show you inside. Um, right now he's on a new bedding that I'm just trying out from Vitacraft. It's the Vitacraft Fresh World Bedding. I just put it in there, but it does look and feel really nice. Um, it gives a really fresh, clean look, so I do like that. Um, over in this corner, he has his water bottle from Walmart, his big food dish so he can sit in there since dwarf hamsters do like to sit in their food. He has um, Hearts Bonanza in there. I don't put any Missouri pellets in there um, just for the cereals because it does have corn. As you can see in the back, he has his medium flying saucer, which he loves. Over here he has his castle like Harry has and then his blue bedding from the UK so he can move it wherever he wants to make a bed. Up front he has this little wooden bridge that's a toy and a chew that I got from Petco. I'm not sure if he really chews on it much but I like to keep it in there. And then right here he has a couple chews. He has part of a dog milk bone and he also has this urban hay treat from the UK. Uh, I think it's from Wilkinson's. He hasn't tried it yet. I just put it in, but I know Cupcake destroyed his, so hopefully he'll like it. So that's just a quick cage tour of Kratos. Like again, not much has changed. I just thought I would show you. Um, so now I will go ahead and show you Cheerio. And last I have Cheerio's cage. Um, because of the weird angle I have to film this out, I can't use a tripod, so hopefully it won't be too bad. Um, as you probably know, he lives in a Critter Trail 1 and a Critter Trail 2. Um, I really don't like these cages because they take a long time to clean. Especially because he likes to pee and poop in that tube. And I think he's coming up right here right now on his lazy lookout. So I don't recommend these cages. Um, they are really hard to clean. And they're really small, so even these two aren't really big enough for him, but it's all I have room for. But once again, if you're looking for a hamster cage to get a new hamster, definitely don't just get two Critter Trail cages because it's not enough as it should be. So over here he has his treat dispenser. Um, I don't really use the treats that are in here. I just needed something to plug that hole. Up here in his lazy lookout, I'm not going to open it because I think he's still in there. He has his Wilco Pet Flake bedding that I put up there. He stores all his food up here. So he will move all this down and he'll actually have a huge hoard of food up here after a while. And over here is his water bottle from Walmart again. In this petting zone, he has the edible parchment bedding from Wilco once again from the UK. And then if I open this cage up, he doesn't have too much in here. He just has his food dish and there's not much light in here. He has his food which is the Hearts Bonanza and a Kiwi Stick. He is mainly on Aspen bedding. I didn't clean his entire cage just because he mainly goes in his tubes actually so I just washed those out and I didn't clean all of his bedding. So that is recycled bedding that I spot clean. In the back he has one tube that connects them. He also stores a ton of food back here. I just cleaned it and it was literally like halfway full of food. So I don't feed him often even if his bowl is empty and um, I don't feed him right away. Just because he stores so much food, I don't want him wasting all of that. I'm um, in here, he has his Carefresh Color Crinkles, if I can get it open with one hand. His pink color crinkles. Um, he sleeps in there a little bit, not too much. And then in here is where most of his stuff is. He has his six and a half inch silent spinner, which he runs on a ton. Um, I haven't cleaned this, as you can see yet. So I do need to clean this right after the video. He has aspen bedding along with some crinkles. He has a few chews. He has a rice pop, a loofah chew, and a lava chew, which he doesn't chew on very much. 
And then he has this hut, which he actually just started chewing on a ton. He's had this for a long time, and he's nibbled on it, but he just started really chewing on this. So he really likes that. And he does have this little tiny house. As you can see here, I got this from my local pet store. I don't even remember what brand it was. It's a brand you never hardly see, and it actually hooks on to the bars. Um, it's really small, and the top pops off. And he has a mixture. He took all of his blue bedding from last time in there. So I still need to clean that out too. But he just has that little bed. Um, once again, I'm not sure what brand that is. So I need to clean his bed and his wheel still. I already cleaned his tubes and everything. So that is Cheerio's cage. Um, not too exciting. But he does climb the bars a lot. Because if you know what I got him in, he was in that little tiny green bar cage so i think he just got used to climbing bars so even though he has more space and more to do he still climbs his bars a lot he's actually over in his other cage still so you can't see him but that is just the last cage tour um i hope you guys enjoyed the cage tours um, make sure you leave a thumbs up if you did i do have more videos coming up such as like organization and a lot of different ideas i have a ton of requests it is going to take me a little while to get to them just because I do have so many and I am pretty busy right now. So I'm going to definitely get to them all. It just might be a little while. Um, Kratos is down here still running. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you did and I will see you guys next time.